from the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes from the previous. That we don't have, huh? No? We don't have the minutes. We'll skip that. Okay. Mr. Sullivan, the floor is yours. Great. I'm giving each of you a, a budget that I put together based on um, where we are cost wise. It just gives you a, um, a read the digest version of some of the. Um, soft costs as well as the construction costs. Currently right now the estimate's at 615. Um, we have furniture and fixtures in here. We have uh, utility back charges, if any. Um, we have architectural services as well as the administrative from owner's project manager all right through the builder's risk. As far as furniture, fi fixtures, and equipment, I have uh, it's probably on the light side. We have furniture, file cabinets, computers, phones, etc. It's just an example of what would be carried under those line items for $200,000. I have an antenna because we didn't need a full 125 or 100 mass, foot yeah. mass. We, we are putting a uh, smaller mass on the side of the building, which reduced the cost significantly. Um, we have communication equipment of $150,000. Um, and then the last one was the station alert system of $100,000. I, I'm still carrying a $500,000 contingency based on that. Right. So it shows us at 8119. So we're 100, basically $100,000. But you got to remember that the estimates that we do are typically we try to be conservative because it would be a sin to have a an estimate really low and then the price is coming high. So we're we're hopefully the bidding process allows us a really marketable. Uh, competitive market and it will get some competitive bidding and have some bid savings at that point. And that includes all the cost control measures that we have to do as far as the square footage cutbacks, the line items that we went through specifically to reduce the cost to get us back within program. Yeah. So that was that, that was that million and a half dollars that we ended up cleaning out of the budget. Any questions at all? No. So this is the budget we're living and dying by. So. If, if in the event that you know the construction costs come in higher because of whatever market influences that are out there, we're, we're holding line items here. And uh, the good news is part of furniture, fixtures, and equipment will be one of the line items along with the contingency that will hold as our, as our um, catch-all in case there's a glitch in the budget anywhere. And then we, you know, I've, I've had some candid conversations with the chief, and he articulated that. You know, if he need be, he'd bring final cameras, whatever he had over just to get program started and buy it over a period of time if he had. Is that fair to say, Chief? Yes. Okay. So we are working very diligently on getting the, the uh, next step moving forward with the drawings. I think Ted's doing a good job. There's been little tweaks that Chief and I met uh, Monday. Yes. Already? Yesterday. I can't believe it's only yesterday. Yes. And um, we went over like some of the, like we were just talking about where the uh, utilities all come into the building, where it's located versus where the dispatch is. We went over some of the incidental little details within the drawings just to send back some, his feedback and mine to the architect. And uh, we're going to continue doing that until we have a 100% drawing. So we've been we working with Ted. I've probably been on the phone with him probably sometimes three or four times a day, sometimes three or four times a week. but. He's been very responsive about our changes. His uh, the his engineer that I've been working with also. Um, we've been answering any myriad of questions as far as the reduced uh, costs, back reducing backflow preventers, uh, using one having one line coming with one backflow preventer versus two, um, down to the point of utilities, things within the building, stoves, um, just the cost. The cost control has been. Significant um, to get us to keep us within the best program we can get with that within our budget. Um, so just the reducted cost versus what we'd originally planned. There's not going to be a lot of, like I said, no no room for not a lot of future growth room within the building. It'll be basically it'll meet our needs now with what we currently have plus the um, uh, the reduction of the district office not being in the building, losing that 
a uh, quarter of a million dollars helped us get back into the program. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And we'll show on the drawings in the future if, if anything needed to be added, where it would be put in placement of the building so that we at least know that. We are going to have alternates, bid alternates basically, and we're going to figure out you know what prioritized item list that we'll have on that in case we do have a favorable bid. So that'll be, we'll, as we, as the drawings get to the 60 to 90 percent, that's when we really start honing down on what those alternates will be. How come, how come we got to bring in the uh, utilities overhead once you put them on the ground? Yeah, they're on, they're going to duck back to the ground. Okay. Um, and then, what else are they going to say? Um, they come off the street to the first pole. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my brain just lost it. Um, I think we could. Oh, the tree. I do have a couple of companies looking at the site for tree clearing the uh, trees and stumping it, just to get some numbers to see where that's at. Maybe we do that as an earlier package. That way, we give a uh, more robust lo um, level. Or cut the cut and fill will be a level site. Um, one of the things that we did do is we the elevation uh, we raised the elevation just a little bit inside the, the lot and that it basically created a little bit of an incline going into the station but we felt that was the easiest way to have a level balanced site and at, at that point it, it prevented any water filtration from coming into the station it kind of filled us down you yeah, know prefer to have the water running away from the building than and into it than running into it so um, yeah. the people are looking at the vlog and they can like Give me anything for the trees? Are they worth anything? No, nah, they're all scrub stuff. Yeah. You sure? They can't grind them up for pellets? Uh, they'll, what they end up doing, and, and Pete Pavoni is the guy I was thinking of. Um, okay. uh, what they end up doing is they um, they reduce the price that they're charging you based on what they're able to get rid of the, the one before. Like I just did a uh, project down in Bourne, and the, the, the trees that I removed, he chipped and sent them up to Maine to the power plants. The cost that he, you know, they paid for those mm -hmm. chips, he took mm -hmm. off of the number for the yeah. work he done. It's typically th about thirty-three hundred dollars a day for their crew, and then uh, whatever you can get for the savings on that. So Ted said he have it. That's what it was. Ted said he'd have a more accurate cost estimate for us probably in the next month. Yeah, four, four weeks. Yeah. He said about a month. But have a, we have some numbers on this. What we're we're, we're accurate. We're picking where we're currently at. Right now we're at four hundred and forty-four dollars a square foot, right. which is kind of right where it's thirteen three sixty-eight eighty-six three eighty-six three eighty-one. 13, 3, 8, 8, 6, it doesn't matter. It's four or five feet down. 13,841. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, um, right. So it's about $444 a square foot. Which brings us to 6.1. Which is worth the $6.1 million for the actual <coughs> cost of the construction. What we will do is Ted will send us the drawings probably in about two and a half weeks. It'll take a couple of weeks for the Estimate is to put the numbers together. We'll have a quick reconciliation day and then we'll provide the estimates to the committee. But we're shooting, our, our goal is to keep us at that mark. So this building is a, uh, it's going to meet the program. It's as far as it, it'll be a handsome building, it won't be a beautiful building. Yeah, uh, it'll be a Spartan building. <laughs> Very Spartan. I refer to it as a saltine box. Yes. <laughs> Call it right. yeah. Any other questions? No, do we need to accept this? Do you want to oh, it's, it's the budget that you it's, 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 yeah, okay. it is what it is. Yeah. It's the number you told me to live and die by, and that's what I'm doing. All right, unless you've got, unless you've got a, uh, a tin can you're hiding somewhere, and you're not telling me about it's buried out there in the woods. Can you tell you? <laughs> they find it in the water. Yeah, we can take a lot because you can find the money buried over there. Uh, maybe maybe pirate treasure. Yeah. The crystal wants it. You can have a little treasure. treasure. Yes, it is what it is. Yeah. We'll make it work. You know what I was thinking too is you may want to put a time capsule together for the new station. <laughs> That's a nice idea, yeah. actually. I think that would be a good idea. We'll find a spot near the flagpole. But yeah. Maybe your okay. ashes, but who knows? Right? They, they will be my ashes. <laughs> <laughs> After that million and a half dollar cut thing there, it took about five years off the end of my life. You're losing weight so quickly. Okay. I, a lot of I know. All 50 pounds of it. Yeah. Well, the newspaper says I'm too fat anyhow, so <laughs> I don't lose weight. All right, then we'll move on. There's no other questions. Item four. 
So no votes to take. No. Item five. Any items not reasonably unexpected? No. Last forty-eight hours. No. no. Just might be the quickest meeting in history. That's good. We're just progressing yeah, quickly now. Now it's set. A motion to adjourn. Second. No other business. Oh, uh, give me a Okay. I'm sure. All those in, I'm coming. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh. Yeah, Wonderful. Um, right.